Rachel Patal here from your senior women's water polo team. I know social distancing and isolation and working out from home can be pretty difficult, but here are some exercises that you can do using everyday household objects that you already have handy. So first, we're going to start with what we call on, the water, and on our team up and overs. I have a dowel rod here, but if you have a band, you can use that as well, or a broomstick, something that you should already have in your house. So what we're going to do is start from the front, and we're just going to go up and over our head, up and over our head. This stretch is really great to stretch your shoulders, to open them up, but also to get a better range of motion from your shoulders. So this is what it would look like with a dowel rod, and what it would look like with a broomstick, and see how nice and wide my hands are apart. That's going to help it get over my head. If I move my hands in too close, I'll never be able to get over my head because I don't have that good flexibility. <laughs> so this is what it looks like with the dowel rod. Now if I grab a band, which is super easy to bring around anywhere you go to, if I grab a band, I'm going to wrap it around my hands. I just want to make sure my band is tight so that I'm still getting some resistance. So I'm just going to keep going up and over my head. So we're going to do 10 of those. Once we're done with our 10 of those, we're going to take our dowel, our broom, our, our band, and we're going to keep it nice and tight still, and we're going to go figure eights, and we're going to go five each way. So once you're done with one way, we're going to go back the other way. It's called figure eights because you're kind of going in an eight-like shape. All right. So now that we're getting our arms really warm, we're going to start working on our scaps. We're going to do what we call scaps, T's, Y's, and W's. So we're going to lay on our stomachs. I'm here in my backyard, so I'm laying on a blanket on the grass. Um, so we're going to start with our T's. So we're flat on our stomach. We're going to put our arms out in a T-shaped position. We want our thumbs pointing up towards the sky, or if you can rotate your hands all the way, you can even get your palms towards the sky. That's really great as well. So we're going to do 10 of these, and all you're going to do is you're just going to raise your arms up. And you're going to try and raise them up as high as you can. So some of your guys' range of motion might be better than mine. Some of you guys might not be getting up as high off the ground, but just as high as you can for 10. Once we're done with those 10, we're going to move our arms into a Y shape. Again, our thumbs are pointing upwards, or if you can turn your hands all the way, you can get your palms up there. We're going to get our head down, and we're going to go 10 again. And after 10, you're probably really going to be feeling some burn in your shoulder. But it's a good burn. So once we're done with our 10 Ys, we're going to go into our Ws. So for Ws, we're going to pull our elbows back towards our sides. Again, we're going to keep our thumbs up. And we're just going to raise our, raise our arms off the ground by using our scaps. So here it is. All right, so those are just simple shoulder warm-ups. From there, we're going to go into push-ups. We're going to do five push-ups. Ready? So when we do push-ups, we're going to get in a push-up position, bums down, right? We're going to make our elbows go back towards our bodies. We don't want our elbows going back. That puts a lot more pressure on our shoulders. We're just going to trap them all the way in and all the way out. Five push-ups. Now, if you can't do a push-up like this, it's totally fine to put your knees on the ground. Remember, we just want to keep our body moving in one fluid plane. So we don't want it to go down and then up. We want to go down and up. Down and up. All right, after we're done with our push-ups, we're gonna go into Russian twists. From here, so we're gonna sit in a nice V-shaped position. If it's too hard to have your feet off the ground, you can start with your feet on the ground, but we're gonna twist our upper body from side to side. Now, if it's too easy to go with your feet on the ground, you can pick your feet up. We don't wanna be moving too much down on your feet. And if this is still easy for you, grab something to add a little weight. So this is just some random laundry detergent we have in my house, right? And it's just gonna add a little bit more to my core. So we're gonna do 12 of these. And after that, you should be breathing as hard as I am. <laughs> okay. From there, we're gonna go into our plank series. So we're gonna do a 30 second front plank a 30 second side plank and a 30 second plank to our other side. In any of these, if it's too hard or if there's too many reps, you can take a break and then get back to it. We just want to try and complete all the reps or all the time. It doesn't have to be all in one go. So for our front plank, we are going
going to start with our elbows down. We want our elbows right under our shoulders. So again, we're not putting extra pressure on our shoulders. We already know how much our shoulders are always hurting from swimming so much. Right, legs out, and we want to be straight and flat. So we're going to sit here and we're going to hold this position for 30 seconds. And once we're done with our 30 second front plank, again, if you need to, you can take a rest. If not, we're going to go into our side plank. Our side plank, we want to make sure our shoulders are still stacked on top of each other. So you're in a nice, good straight line from elbow to shoulder to shoulder. We want to keep our hip off the ground and raised. And our feet can either be stacked on top of each other or they can be one in front and one in behind. So we're going to hold this one for 30 seconds. And again, if you need to, take your rest. If not, switch over to your other side. Same thing, 30 seconds. When we're done with that, we got one more exercise and it's alternating VFs. Again, we're going to go 12 of these. So for alternating VFs, we're going to start laying flat on our back. And what we're going to do is one of our legs is going to go in the air and we're going to go, we're going to go get it. So I'm going to come up. You don't need to hold it, but... So when we're doing this, we're trying to get our full back off the ground and obviously our leg off the ground as well. So after we're done with our 12 of those, we're gonna do that whole thing three times through. And that's gonna be our circuit for today. Thank you.